Hey guys, Daedalus Nix here again with another poorly shot video. Uh, today, I'm talking about making a uh, broadside into a gunslinger model broadside a la Forge World. Um, for those of you not familiar with the broadside, oh, there we are. Um, this is part of the massive amount of money my wife allowed me to spend so I can try to get into Ard Boys this year. Yeah, anyway. Um, that's what the broadside standard looks like. The gunslinger model has standard crisis suit arms with the broadside's gun let me show you show here mounted either on the side like that or underneath and if you're not familiar with the broadside uh, the gunslinger model it's the XV88-2 I think um, from uh, Forge World and it's like 50 bucks US when you get it you know, shipped over here me I don't have 50 bucks I barely have the 35 to buy the crisis uh, to buy the broadside suit so I modify. So, tools you need. Crisis uh, broadside battle suit kit. Specifically, you're going to need the railgun and the arms. Then you need your clippers, super glue, as always. You may need green stuff. I uh, have issues um, sometimes getting things to bond without green stuff. And then I like to, I don't have really any kind of good clamps or stands or anything like that to use, so I like to use these to kind of help keep things standing up um, until things have a chance to set. Um, as always, be careful working with super glue. Um, my last couple that I used to kind of get in the practice of this, I have now glued this fingernail to this finger. It's not a comfortable feeling, so kids, be careful at home. Alright, first thing you do, clip your pieces out of the sprues. And for those of you not familiar with how bad sometimes Games Workshop production values can be, You'll see that the broadside railgun, not exactly best shape. And there's a little bit of stray on here and flash, things like that. I've cleaned up a fair bit. That's usually to the point I clean things up. Nope, locate the little nub on the bottom that normally goes into the shoulder piece on the um, battle suit itself. Take your clippers and snip as flush as you can. There we go. Right up against there. Again, if you're really a good stickler for quality and accuracy, um, feel free to file that down. I've not had any issues so far doing this. Um, this is not necessarily a point of no return either. If you cannot get this to stick to your arm, a little bit of green stuff and some super glue will still let you mount it to the shoulder of the battle suit itself. So don't never fear. There are ways out. All right. Now, just to make my life a little easier. Again, I'm going to put this nice and upright inside the uh, needle those pliers there. And drop nice and flush back just behind there a drop or two worth of super glue. And yes, I'm kind of yammering here while it's going on because I like to let it give it a chance to set a little before I actually put the piece in there. Alright. You'll note real quick here this little ledge right back here at the back of the uh, metal suit itself. These little gears in the arm really fit in there kind of nice. It's almost like somebody actually at Games Workshop was planning on doing this. Um, I think I've seen a couple conversions on GW about that, but hey, that's another article entirely. Alright, set it in there as gentle as I can. There we go. Tap down just to make sure it gets pressed. Glue in there, and of course I'm gluing things to myself as we do this, so hey, that's life again. Alright, the arm is in place, and now this is kind of the cool thing on this, I'll try and do a video on this later on, is if I get the rest of the battle suit assembled, and I like this on there, thing does, uh, thing supports the weight well, I just gotta assemble the smart missile pods and snip those off, and then I can magnetize those or glue them to the shoulder. I can also magnetize my plasma rifles, and put those on the shoulders, so that way it can flop out between SMS sides and uh, plasma sides. I also can magnetize a little bit on the side for whatever piece of equipment, and there's also the underside that actually can magnetize it on my regular broadside that has the shoulder mounted guns. It's magnetized as well under, on the weapons itself. So I have options that I can play with here at this point. Um, it's all about getting creative and using what you can do to play cooler for cheaper. Alright guys, that's Daedalus. I'm out of here. I uh, hope to have a couple more videos up probably next week or two. Later.